Hey all my Aries friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Indigo and I am here to bring you your September 2018 channel messages from Spirit. So um, the number I kept seeing for you guys is the number four. So this is your angels offering just their love, their support, their encouragement. Um, it's allowing you to gain inner strength, um, causing you to want to make big changes in your life because big changes are coming for you in the month of September. Um, it's, it's allowing you, it's enabling you to do what you need to do to, um, achieve your goals, to achieve whatever it is that you, um, are setting out to do whatever you're trying to manifest. Your angels are working with you. They are helping you and um, giving you inner strength and guidance. So make sure you're listening to that inner voice. Make sure you're taking the time to meditate daily, to keep yourself grounded, to protect yourself, protect your home. Um, because you are, um, you're gaining a whole new aspect of your spiritual self. Um, and this is going to propel you forward in a very rapid movement to big changes. For some of you, you are in need of organization. Um, I just see a clusterfuck. Sorry about, pardon my French, but just it's time to declutter. It's time to organize. It's time to get rid of anything in your space that you no longer use that you no longer need. It's time to clear out your emotional um, clutter. It's time to get organized and and get prepared for, for what's coming in for you. Um, some of you have a situation coming in that is going to challenge your morals. It's going to make you question, can I let that slide? Can I should I say something? Um, this is something at work. So just be um, cautious. Be aware of your surroundings. Be um, conscious of what everyone else is doing around you because this could drag you in um, if if it's not handled appropriately. You will know what to do. You, you know what your morals, your values are. So never compromise that for um, somebody else. Um. Some of you, you're wanting to get back to your traditional values. You're wanting to um, listen to your inner wisdom, but for some reason you've been blocking it out. You, uh, It's calling for you to be honest with yourself. Uh, you know what direction you're supposed to be going, and it's time to, to face that head on. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with some kind of situation where you feel like it's it's going unfairly. Justice is going to be served in your favor. So um, just keep the faith, keep trudging forward. Um, it is going to work out in your benefit. Uh, for some of you, it's, it's calling for you to find balance, um, especially in your heart chakra. Um, wear, wear green as much as you can. Be... Um, in nature out in the green. I mean, just surround yourself with green as much as you can to help heal that. And also ask your angels to help clear that out and help you um, heal so that chakra can, can find balance again. Um, some of you are going to have a friend that's coming in towards you. This is somebody you've known for a long time. This is a very good friend. Um, they're needing, they're needing you. Um, I do see you being that that trustworthy, faithful friend right there for them. Um, when they come to you for help, they really need help. This is like they're they're dreading asking you because they hate to ask you, but know that they really they really do need the help they're asking for. This is going to be different for all, for all people, but um, I do see you helping them, and you will. Um, the universe takes notice to your good deeds that you do. Um, for some of you, it's time to get up and get moving. You're getting lazy in some area of your life. It's, it's time to, uh, 
time to get proactive. Uh, you have an inability to adapt to your surroundings for some reason. <clears throat> you're feeling anxious about this. Um, and so you're just doing nothing. It's, it's time to get the ball rolling in this area. For some of you, I see you being very argumentative uh, with somebody in your space this month. Um, you're, I hear you saying, you're not going to tell me what to do. So I'm not sure who you're speaking with. It is a loved one. It's someone in your immediate energy, um, could be a spouse, a partner, an ex, um, a parent, somebody, but you are standing your ground. You are standing up for yourself. Uh, you feel misunderstood in this situation. Stand your ground, but don't be, don't cross that line of argumentative and, um, aggressive is what spirit is cautioning you about. Uh, there's going to be a big event in some of your guys' um, life this month. This huge event is going to wake you up spiritually. For a large majority of you, you're going to, your third eye is opening. Um, you're becoming very intuitive, very, uh, connected to source, but there's going to be something that happens in the month of September. That's going to just one day to the next, boom, like it's open. Uh, make sure you're keeping staying grounded. Make sure you are protecting yourself. Uh, protect your energy because, uh, there are energy suckers out there. So just protect yourself and enjoy this beautiful gift that the universe is, um, going to give you in the month of September. Uh, for some of you, some of you are walking away. Yeah. Some of you are, are walking away from an emotional situation. You just feel like you feel irritated. You feel taken advantage of. You take, you feel like you're being used. Um, you've had enough. You are walking away from this person, this emotional um, person or emotional situation and person. And uh, yeah. Once you walk away from this emotional situation, you're going to be able to turn your focus back on yourself. Um, turn your focus back on your goals, your wants, your needs, your dreams, your, your aspirations. And, um, and the universe is going to help you manifest that. So yeah, if you're emotionally drained, it, it's time to, it's time to walk away. Um, for some of you, you can feel something big is about to happen. You can feel something coming. You really can. It's the energy shift. You feel it, you know it, you just don't know what it is yet. You're going to find that out in September. That energy shift is going to bring that that big something that whatever you can feel it's coming in in September. Um, something is pushing you in a different direction. Um, yeah. It's pushing you in a different direction from where you've been going. Uh, this is fate. You have no control in the outcome. You're just drawn to go there. You're drawn to do this. You're drawn to do that. And, and it's going to, uh, by being pushed in this different direction, uh, you're going to be delivered something that you have coming for you for all the good karma you have put out there. Um, this is in the form of an abundance of, well, it's different for everybody. It's going to, it's in the form of abundance, whether it be emotions, uh, finances, um, spiritual gifts. Uh, so that's very exciting. That's going to happen in the middle of September. Um, man, my head just started. I have a horrible pain in my head. Um, some of you could be suffering from migraines, from headaches. This is part of your awakening. That's, that's one of the side effects of this energy. It makes your head feel like, um, they call them like cluster headaches. Uh, you could be experiencing those. Um, ringing in your ears, 
your skin itchy. Um, that's all part of your waking up. So um, if your pain is excruciating, ask your angels to help relieve some of the pain. It won't go away all the all together, but it um, it can possibly help. For a group of you, you're considering um, separating from a relationship that you have put a lot of investment in. This could be with a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Yeah, I see those two signs especially, but it could be any sign because now I'm seeing water and yeah, it could be any sign. You're considering separation. Um, your partner is very controlling and you just can't Yeah, this partner is very controlling. You're you're losing faith in this relationship. Um, I see you telling somebody it's time for you um, to start putting into this relationship to put in the work, or you can take a walk. Um, I see it going both ways, but your partner is going to respond to this. They're going to um, be like, oh shit, they're really serious. So this is for the best. Um, some of you are continuing to heal. I see that beautiful, you got a beautiful green healing light around you. Um, keep up the good work. It's hard. I know, um, digging up our old hurts is never easy, but it's always worth it. Some of you are moving into a new home. You, there's a reason to celebrate. Some of you are getting um, pregnant. Some of you are getting engaged. So congratulations to those. Um, some of you, you're needing help and you really don't know where to turn. At the last minute, family is going to come in and help you, whatever that hurt or whatever that help um, may be that you are, are needing. Um, I see a group of you. You're admitting you're someone's third party. I see you're admitting it to their spouse, their partner. You really wanted this relationship with this person to work, but but you're prepared to walk. Um, you've been through enough. You've had enough. And, and you're putting it to a stop. For some of you, you're in a relationship where you just feel smothered. Um, just be honest with your partner. Tell them you need time to do your own thing, that you need your space. Um, don't be so quick to give up on the relationship because this is a beautiful connection. Just be honest with them and let them know that you need time to do you. And more than likely, they're, they're thinking the same thing. Um, for some of you, you're needing to forgive and move on from the past. You've been holding on to this for about two or three years now. Um after a relationship ended, a commitment ended, um, it's time to deal with those. And this Virgo uh, moon is the perfect time to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. My angels are saying yes, most definitely. Uh, release, let go and move forward. Um, some of you are dealing with financial issues. Uh, these are going to work out. These are going to work out for you. Um, towards the end of September, I see some finances um, improving. Some of you are dealing with uh, somebody who's waiting for you to make a choice. You have a choice between two people. Um, it's time to it's time to choose because uh, other people's feelings are involved, and it's just getting messier and messier. So it's time to clear that energy out and focus on one um, person and release that other one so that they can move on to what is destined for them, what is meant for them, also. For some of you, it's time for a detox. Uh, for a group of you, this is a detox of your body, the toxins, time to uh, flush out your system, get your energy clear. Um, for another group of you, this is an emotional detox. It's time to release all that baggage from the past. It's time to deal with it. Um, for this group of you, you guys have been putting it off for a long time because it hurts. You don't want to deal with it. It's easier to ignore it, um, but it's time. For, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who's being really cold, really distant. 
uh, it's making you confused. I feel you're going to have a, you're going to have a realization about this connection. Um, within the next two days I'm seeing things will start to make sense. They're just going to click. It's like, duh, why didn't I see that? They've been doing this. Why wouldn't I think, you know, um, Yeah, because somebody is not talking, they're being cold, they're cutting you off. Um, this new beginning uh, is coming for you in the next couple of days after you make this realization. Um, yeah. Um, September 18th, I see, is an important date for you guys. Um, you guys have a situation going on within a family, and you guys are going to resolve this. You're going to come to... Uh, uh, agreement you're going to you're no longer going to be stressing over the the end result of whatever this situation is going on you guys are going to compromise agree and move forward um for some of you the month of may is very important something happened in may or something is coming for you in may um No, something's coming for you in May. Uh, something major is coming for you, for this group of you. Um, my angels are saying, this is the moment. Um, this is the moment. This is the reason for what you were created. You're finding your life's purpose in May. Um yeah, how amazing is that? That is beautiful. Um, yeah, big things coming up for you guys in this in this um, next month of May, uh, in this coming next coming year. For some of you, um, you've been really worried about a situation. Uh, It's, it, it's brought a lot of stress. It's, you're emotionally exhausted. You feel like someone isn't hearing you. You're going to get the answer that you've been looking for either September 29th or 30th. Um, yeah, you're going to get your answer. For some of you, um, you are looking for freedom. You want you want out of something, out of a contract, out of a situation. But yet, once you get out, you keep returning and picking up those chains again. Um, if you want freedom, don't don't go back. Um, don't go back to the one that broke you and expect them to fix you. Um, that, that isn't how it works. So um, leave that in the past. For some of you... You got a big dream that you've been wanting to try. You've been wanting to go after this. You've been wanting to find success in this. Everything that you want is on the other side of fear. So go for it. Um, take that chance. Take that risk. It's, it's going to be successful. For another group of you, you're hung up on some mistakes that you've made in the past. Um. It's time to let those go. Mistakes in your past path are only meant to guide you. Um, they're meant to teach you lessons. They're meant to help you along your way. They are not meant to define you. Your mistakes are not who you are. So um, it's time to get out of that uh, thought consciousness. It's time to let that, <clears throat> that uh, thought go. Everybody makes mistakes. That is not who you are. That is something that you did. And it's time to forgive yourself. Um, for some of you, it's time to change it up. It's time to spice it up. It's time to go after what you want. You can't do the same thing.
Yeah. You can't, you can't live the same year 80 times in a row and call it a life. You have to go out there and chase whatever it is that you want. Um, we are mobile people. We are meant to move around. We are meant to experience all in life that we can experience to grow our soul. Um, we're not meant to stay in one place. Uh, so throw caution to the wind and go go after it. You've been doing the same thing year after year after year. It's time to it's time to uh, make those dreams a reality because you have the power to do that this month, Aries. You for this group of you, you're looking for love. You're frustrated. You want something in your life that you don't have to question. You want somebody in your life that's there for the right reasons. It's there with the truest intentions. That is going to come into you in the month of September. For this group of you, it's in the third week of September. You are meeting a life partner who is there with all the best intentions. For um, another group of you, you're in need of balance. You're in need of meditation. You need to find a meditation practice that works for you um, because you're um, kind of all over the place. And um, it's causing you to lose focus in many areas of your life. And um, it's time to rein it in. It's time to center yourself and um, and find that, that peace, that inner peace, that inner guidance, that inner voice. And you find that in meditation. Um, for some of you, you have been working really hard on trying to let your emotions run their course. Um, you are about at the end. You're almost there. You're almost there. Keep going. Um, you can walk away. I don't know what that means, but the person that needs to hear it will know what it means. It's okay. You can walk away. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, some of you need to, uh, bring some dietary changes into your life. You have got some icky stuff going on. Um, yeah, diet changes are needed. Healthy patterns. It's time to get, um, yourself healthy. Uh, For some of you, you have a soulmate coming back very fast. They want you back. They want a second chance. Right when you're getting over your emotions, right when you're getting over your hurt and you're starting to move forward, this soulmate is just flying in for you. It's up to you if you want to give this person a second chance. Um, they are better um, this time. But that is completely up to you because you do have another option in your in your space. Um, for some of you, you're looking fantastic. You. OK, sorry about that. I had to pause you. I had somebody at my door and I got a sweater on because it is cold here. So, OK, um, back to what I was saying. Uh, for. A group of you, you're dealing with somebody who's being distant, being cold. Um, they could be not talking to you at all or very um, casual. This is going to turn around, especially with this uh, new moon energy. It's just going to be like the energies are so heavy. It's just going to give them the push they need. It's going to open their eyes to who it is they really want. And for a large group of you, I see that being you. <clears throat> Some of you are thinking with your mind and not with your heart. Um, yeah, be cautious of this because sometimes your mind can talk you out of what you want, what you deserve, what, what is meant to be yours. Um, and everything you do, you should lead with your heart. So just be cautious of you talking yourself out of something that is meant to be yours. Um, for some of you, you're no longer stressing over somebody. Um, you're you're giving it up to God. You're letting whatever happened happen. And in that, you're going to get back what it is that you had hoped for. Um, 
this connection is going to come together. I do see reunions in September, especially October. Um, but there are some of you coming into reunion in September. Uh, for some of you, you're finally finding happiness. You're finding joy within yourself. You're finding, um, you're finding your way into your path that you're meant to be on. And um, it's bringing a lot of success, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. So congratulations to those of you who have healed to that, to that level. Um, for some of you, the 18th of September is, it keeps popping up. Let me see what they're trying to show me. There's a situation that you guys are currently dealing with. It's been going on for quite a while, maybe seven, eight, nine months. There's going to be resolution to this. There's going to be a solution that comes to, to this situation on that day. And it's going to allow this to um, end, to come to an end. Um, I do see it ending in your favor. So whatever that means for you, um, I do see you finding victory in whatever it is you've been dealing with. Yeah. Yeah, you guys will be very happy the 18th of September when when this comes to a close, um, whether that be in a relationship and they come back or whether you end a relationship, whether it be like a court, it's something where you've been dealing with this for quite some time. The 23rd is also important for you guys, especially if Aries is your moon or rising, you're making a choice on who you want to be with, who you want to, uh, ultimately spend the rest of your life with. You are going to choose the right person that's meant for you because you're finally listening to your inner voice. You're finally listening to your heart and not letting society, your friends, your family, whoever it be, make choices for you. Um, and you are going to move towards the right person that you're meant to be with. Also, if your Aries is in sun as well, but I'm just saying, especially if it's in your moon and rising and you have to choose between two people, you are making a choice. You're also going to make them an offer. Yeah. This is going to find you much success um, in this relationship. It's going to find, you're going to find all new levels of life with this person, whatever that means for you. The uh, 26 is also important for some of you. It looks like you're getting a new home. You're either hearing from the bank saying your loan's going through or you're actually taking possession on the day, or you're finding a house to rent something. You're moving into a new home. You're getting word of the 26th that it is yours. Um, also, somebody is returning for some of you as well. Um, <clears throat> somebody from your past is coming back. They're going to ask you for, for a second chance. Yeah. Yeah. This is somebody that you've been with in this lifetime. Um, or you could be returning to somebody as well. I see it going both ways. Yeah. So um, this person has changed, though I feel they are not telling you the whole truth. So be cautious as far as how quick you jump into this relationship. They have changed for the better. And they did that in the separation of the two of you. They felt they had to not only for themselves, but to, to get you back, to gain your trust again, to show you that they took these steps to come back together with you. And they have, they really have done the work and this relationship will, um, flourish. Uh, if you do decide to, um, take this chance, just be cautious because they're not telling you the whole truth of what happened or what happened during separation. There is nobody else, however. I do see this possibly could have been a third party at one time. They have gotten rid of the other person or there is no outside competition. So that isn't something you have to worry about. But they're, but they're not showing their full hand, you know. Um, yeah. So just take it slow. Be cautious. Like I said, this relationship will find success. It will flourish. Um, just, just come into it with your eyes open. Uh, 
There, some of you are getting pregnant, especially if you're dealing with a Leo. Yeah, so congratulations to to those of you. Um, make sure you protect yourself if that isn't something you want. Um, some of you are coming clean. You're coming forward and telling somebody the truth behind the betrayal, um, the truth behind the hurt. Uh, this is going to free you. It's going to it's going to allow you to breathe again. Um, you're going to find that uh, when you do tell this um, person what had happened in the past, it's going to um, it's going to allow for you guys to start over. In a in a, a fresh new way, so uh, yeah. Sorry, my dad just came to my door and peeked his head in. So <laughs> if you're wondering who I was just nodding at, um, my stepdad is so goofy. Okay, so um. Yeah, for some of you, yeah, okay, so for some of you, you're letting your fear, um, you're letting your fear make your choices. There's something that's meant for you to have. There's something meant for a blessing of yours to be coming in, but you're acting out of fear, and so you are blocking it. Um, there's nothing to fear. Uh, the thing with fear is, you know, some people are, are scared to get into a relationship because they're scared of being hurt. Well, every situation in our life is a lesson or a blessing. So if you're going to get hurt in this relationship, it's a lesson that is meant to be brought to you, or it's your karma that you're dealing with. So whether it's that person or the next person or the next person, that lesson's going to find you one way or another. So there's nothing to fear. But when you let fear block that relationship, you could be potentially blocking the blessing that's meant to come to you. Everything in life is a blessing or a lessing. lesson. So you, you're you trying to block this relationship out out of fear that you're going to get hurt, but you're not going to. This is your blessing. This is your reward for all the hard work you have done getting over the past. This is the person that's meant to bring you your happiness, your joy um, as a couple. So make sure you're not blocking out uh, people in your life out of fear. Because um, like I said, the lesson will come to you in you know one relationship or another if you're meant to still learn that lesson. Um, but for this group of you, you have dealt with your karma and you have dealt, you know, you have learned your lessons, you have moved forward from that. And now you're blocking your uh, blessing. So be really cautious about who you're blocking out, who you're, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, because this person, this is, this is, this is the one. So um, be cautious on who you block out. And you know, this group of you who I'm talking about, um, because you're telling yourself, oh gosh, it looks great. You know, they seem great, but I bet they'll hurt me down the road. No, they won't. So, um, I'm not saying go into this relationship with blind faith, you know, uh, yeah, but, but let people in, uh, instead of letting fear, keeping everybody out, um, true love will find you one way or another. So if it's meant to be yours, they'll stick around, but you're wasting, um, you're wasting this time that where you could be enjoying this beautiful relationship. Some of you, um, you need to keep your private life a little more private. Um, with social media th these days, it's hard to do that. But believe me, um, it could come back to bite you in the ass as far as like work goes. Um, so make sure you're keeping things private. Um, also, like when you're talking with friends and stuff, they could not really have your best interest at heart. And they could take that information and, and try to... Uh, Try to use it against you. On September 30th, you're going to have a realization about...
something in your life that has caused you an overload of stress, you are going to, um, you're going to use your inner wisdom on this. Uh, you guys are very honest people. You have a lot of integrity, but somebody is trying to make people think otherwise. Um, this is something that's kind of been brewing. You're you're going to use your inner voice, your inner wisdom, and you are going to um, handle it in the perfect way. So um, if a situation comes to you on the 30th, um, just take a step back before you react. Think it through, and um, I'm sure you guys will choose the right um, thing that you're supposed to do. For... For some of you, you're unable to I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see what they're trying to show me here. For some of you, you're not able to see what gifts you have. Um, you guys are protected by your spirit guides, though. You're unable to see right now what kind of gifts you have to offer the world, but I do see self-confidence and um, self-esteem uh, rising this, this month. Uh, Spirit is saying, though, uh, be cautious of you trying to rekindle something from your past um, that's not meant for you. It's time to accept the past and and to move forward um, so you can direct your energy and spend your energy on something that is meant for you. Uh, yeah, this, you're trying to keep something that's far less than what you deserve. You, uh, yeah, you deserve a lot more than what you're trying to, trying to get restarted. Yeah, that's what Spirit's saying. So, um, set your standards high. Uh, don't lower that bar for anybody. For some of you, you're dealing with uh, people in your space that are like that are trying to trick you in some way. Um, there's there's manipulation that's going on, and you're accepting it out of fear of being rejected. Yeah. I don't see that this person has any evil intent, though. I mean, it's not trickery to hurt you or to trick you or trap you. They're just, they're doing it out of fear of being rejected. Um, they're, they don't want to be alone. They just have a deep desire to be loved. And so they're trying to keep you in a way that's kind of tricky, um, like manip manipulative. Yeah, for some of you, don't be as scared to ask for help. That's That must be important to somebody. If you're in need of help, don't be scared to ask for it. Um, for some of you, it's time to work with your environment. It's time to go with the flow. Uh There's going to be someone in your life that arrives to you in the form of a teacher. And I'm not saying like a school teacher, but someone that's going to come to you and help you release your past. This person's going to bring you inspiration, bring you hope, um, whether it be somebody you know, somebody you don't know, whether it's through their words or through their actions. Could be watching somebody on YouTube, could be seeing a movie on TV, could be running into someone at the grocery store. Someone is going to come to you 
that's going to allow you to listen to them, to learn from them, and to then move forward and release something from your past. Uh, some of you are seeking others' approval, and it, it's it's time to let that go. It's time to worry about you, number one. Uh, you're being protected by your angels, so there's nothing to fear. Some of you are, are realizing there's no need to prove yourself to anybody anymore. You've been trying very hard to prove your worth, to prove your you're enough for them. And you're no longer allowing yourself to feel that way. Um, you are starting to understand who you are. Yeah, that is very powerful. You're starting to understand who you are and what you have created and what you are worth. And, and you're no longer having to the, the need to feel like others believe you. You are just going to start living your truth. And those who are meant to be in your energy will stay and will come into your energy. And those that are meant not to be will then find their uh, exit. Take, take the leap of faith. Take the chance is what I'm hearing. Because you don't want to live your life and at the end, regret what you didn't take a chance at. Now is the time. Luck is on your side. Opportunities are finding you guys. Doors are opening. Just an amazing month of September and into October for you, Aries. It's really um, a time for big changes, um, for charging forward, um, to clearing your energy and allowing new energy in. You're healing. You're celebrating. You're finding new homes, new relationships, um, family issues are mending. It's just an amazing month for you guys. So enjoy this energy. Enjoy this new moon in Virgo and um, just enjoy the month. I want to thank you guys for coming to my channel. I want to thank you for your continuous support. Without you guys, um, my spiritual journey would not be what it is. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all you new subscribers and for those of you who are with me week after week, month after month. Um, I am definitely blessed. And for that, I thank you. So as always, I send you love, light, and may God bless your journey.